Okay, folks, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center today. We're going to talk to you about the, the new 2018 Tab. This is the Tab S320. And we're going to go over this. This has a MSRP of about 24.6 as the way it is equipped. And I'm going to go over some more details with this. But any more questions on this particular camper or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by, you ask for Paul, the Air Force guy. I appreciate that. Also, check out my other videos. I have some how-to videos. I also have some product recommendations. But let's get on to this 2018 Tab 320. This is the S model. <clears throat> You're looking at a... A dry weight on this one is just a little over 1,800 pounds. Gross weight of 2,900 pounds. That's assuming you're putting, you know, a pretty about 1,100 pounds of cargo in here. So, as you're going to see, we're going to go over a couple things now. When the, there's four different models you can get in a tab 320. You've got the U, which is going to be the inside kitchen without the bathroom. You've got the S, which is going to be the inside kitchen with the bathroom. You've got the CS, which is going to be an outside kitchen without a bathroom. And then you've got the CS-S, which is the outside kitchen with the bathroom on the inside. So let's go over this one here. As you can see now, the color on this, you've got many different colors to choose from, folks. We could even special order to match your vehicle. This one is the white with the blue. So let's go ahead and get a start. This is uh, by New Camp, which is Pleasant Valley Trailers. One of the big changes with <clears throat> the 2018, which I'll tell you what, when I talk to people that have the old, old style, um, you know, hook up with, when they have the inside bathroom and they have two different places they've got to put the hose, it's a mess, folks. The nice thing with the way this one works is when you dump the black, which is going to be over here, that's your sewer, then you could rinse out your tank if you want and empty that. But then the nice thing is you get to open up your gray tank. What that does for you folks, that is gonna use your soapy water from your sink and that's gonna go ahead and rinse out the hose, which that way there, it you know, makes it, cleans it out a little bit. But now that, here's the other nice thing. What they have done folks is on the side here, they have added an outside shower and you pull this thing out, it'll come out about five or six feet. Now you're able to go ahead and clean up while you're out here or you know, use that for whatever else. So this is the off-door side. Let's go through what we have on the off-door side. Of course, you can see where the AC vent is up on the roof there, or right above the window. You've got the nice uh, portal window for the bathroom. This is gonna be your antenna for the stereo on the inside. Then of course you have the connection point. If you go to a campground, you wanna connect cable, you can put that there. Of course, you can fill your fresh water tank from here. It'll hold 11 gallons. And of course, then if you're gonna be um, at a campground, you can hook up to city water. So you'll have constant uh, water there. Of course, next to the um, shower there on the left, that is where you have the electrical connection. And folks, that is a 30 amp 110. Do not plug that into 220. I've had customers do that in the past and you will not be happy if that happens. As I had mentioned about the outside shower, both hot and cold water. And of course, that's your Aldi system for the um, exhaust. That's both for your heat and uh, for your hot water. Of course, you can see, take a look at the back side. You can see how the, the tabs, the 320s, you can see how they slope up, giving you a little bit more clearance if you're towing. Your spare tire is gonna mount under here, as you can see the mounting point for that and of course you can see the stabilizer jacks you're gonna have on all four corners now some other changes that they've made for the 2018 is of course this door and then you have a connection point to take your table from the inside to the outside I know folks the previous table kind of cumbersome if you're uh, putting it up and down but I'm gonna show you how they change that great concept and I think it's gonna it's gonna save people a lot of hassles. But of course, you have your two out uh, 110 outlets out here. This is so that you can get to the storage that is underneath you, your uh, dinette seat, or you can get to it from the inside. Now, right now we have the spare tire in there. Now, folks, no, that is not gonna be coming out this hole here. You're gonna have to go ahead and lift that out from inside. All right. So, of course, you can see you have a LED light, nice bright light on this. 
portal window for the uh, door. And of course, you know, you can have some privacy with that. You just close it, use some privacy. You can see, of course, you have the screen door. Nice thing with the screen door is you can actually see it. It's visible. I don't know how many of you all have been walking into screen doors at, at people's homes or your own home. So let's take a look on the inside. As you can see, they have the nice hardwood look floor. Makes it easy to keep it clean and so forth. Let me just kind of pan through here for you so you can see what you're looking at. I'm going to explain that table to you. And, of course, you can see the wood slats. I'm going to explain that to you as well. Of course, this does have a bathroom with the shower and the toilet. Your kitchen area up in the front here. So let's go on in here and we're going to kind of go over some things. Let's start with the kitchen area. So in the kitchen area, what you're going to have, you're going to have the, you're going to have your sink. You're going to have, of course, your two burner uh, cooktop. And that does fold up quite nicely. Keep the splatter off of your curtains and so forth. Your screen. As you can see, what I have is I have that, the bottom part, you pull that up and that gives you the privacy. And if you want, you can pull the top down. That gives you the screen. So in the event that you'd like to have the window open and turn on this power vent fan on the roof, you can do that. I'm going to turn that on here in a minute and show you how that works. Of course, up above the sink and so forth, you have to have some cabinets. And, of course, this is your AM FM CD stereo with a DVD player. It is also Bluetooth. And, of course, you have an aux in. You also have a USB port. So that's all that. Now, you might be saying, well, what, what, what's a DVD player for well folks they've thought of everything you have this tv right here and it does swivel out now the only thing 110 in here or that can operate on 110 is the air conditioner and of course the refrigerator however the refrigerator is three-way so you're able to run that on 110 propane or on battery now battery is just a maintainer so you have this little door that pulls down here, and this is where it goes through all, all your different settings. So you can do all that. Okay? And it is a good size refrigerator, as you can see. you got the door here. Get back a little bit so you can get a look at that. Nice size refrigerator. And then, of course, you're going to have storage underneath. And look at this. This is really cool, what they do for you. See that little, this is your, I don't know if you can see that, that's a tab logo on your cutting board, which fits quite nicely over your uh, sink. So when you're not using the sink, you've got an area uh, for cutting board. And then, of course, you have more storage down below here. So that is the kitchen area. Let me get back here and let you get a look at that kitchen area again. So you can see you have a drawer up underneath the refrigerator. So that is the front. Now... To the left of the stereo, of course, is your shower. It's your shower toilet, and of course, you can see you have a portal window there. You have a nice shower head. You've got a mirror in here. And most importantly, folks, you have that toilet paper holder, which it's covered. So when you have the shower going, it's not going to ruin your toilet paper. Some of you might remember that you had a little sink in here uh, in your model. No more sink in here, so it maybe was kind of in the way. Then, of course, for, for maintenance and so forth, that's so you get to the water pump and some plumbing and so forth back there. So that is the shower area, as you can see. Okay? So I'd mentioned, of course, you have the AC. Nice thing about this, having this air conditioner in here, folks, it will do a great job. For those of you that have ever had um, a window AC in, you know, a 10 by 10 room, cools it down quite nicely. It'll do the same thing here. Um, but the more, more importantly, remember I told you of a 30 amp 110 cord. You can pair it down to 15 amps. That AC is only using about 6 amps. So if you're going over and you're visiting somebody, you can plug into their house and use your air conditioner. How genius is that? Of course, you can see over here you have an AC fan because what it's doing is it's blowing the, uh, the air from behind that so we don't have any fumes coming in here. Um, and then, of course, your Aldi system. That is for your, going to be for your water heater and for your furnace. Now, what's really nice, the difference with, with the, um, the 320S, folks, is the fact that you're going to, your bed is going to be 70 inches wide by 73 inches in length. So you're going to sleep um, from here and go underneath the cabinets. Nice thing with that um, is that no one's crawling over anybody. 
Now, to go ahead and lay this thing down, I'm just going to move some cushions. I want to show you a couple neat things with this with this bed. So what you're able to do, of course, it has a nice little handle here. It clicks up and goes down. So that would be the length that you're looking at. You're going to go all the way out through that way. Now, what you have back here, of course, you have a nice little area to, you know, put some stuff. If you want to put some things down under here. But, you know, you can lay your phone up here. You see how it has a charging station. On this side, you have this 12 volt and then USB. On the opposite side here, folks, then you have your 110. Now, the nice thing about this, because where the, where the TV is and so forth, let's say you want to watch some TV, but you don't want to lay down. Now, look what you can do. You can go ahead and recline that so you have a kind of a little recliner there. And now you can kind of sit up there and do that. Now, you say, well, Paul, how do we make the bed? Well, see, that's where these wood slats come in. See, most people will take this table. This table is movable. It, you could put it wherever you want, and if you want, you can just take it outside. It just disconnects. It comes apart in two pieces. makes it easy to um, move it around. But then these wood slats go down in the slots here on either side. And then, of course, your cushions from either side, they fold across here, and you've got your 70 by 73 bed. Now, you do have access under here to, your, to the storage. Remember I showed you where your spare tire was? Let me just get this thing out of the way here. So there's your spare tire. So this is storage. It's going to the outside. Then on the opposite side, again, so you just move this table right out of the way. On the opposite side, this is where your Aldi system is. So you're able to, if you need to work on that or your, uh, some low point drains and change things, you can do that as well. So that is that. Then, of course, as you're pulling this up here, you see you have, you can get to additional storage back behind your sofa. So that goes down, pull it back up, you hear a click, now it's in, it's in the spot. And then it's just a matter of putting the cushions back in place. So again, folks, this is the... Um, the Tab 320, it's a 2018, the, folks, the uh, MSRP on this one is 24.6, as I had mentioned earlier, but for any more information on this particular RV or any others, be sure that you ask for Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, when you stop by. If you call or if you email him, be sure, like my videos, comment on them, let me know how I can improve them. I appreciate uh, all the people who are subscribing. And we'll be coming back at you again shortly. Thanks again, and you all have a great day.